The 2025 Toyota Supra has finally made its appearance in the wild, and boy, it's better late than never. The hotter version, rumored to be the Gazoo Racing Masters of the Nürburgring variant, was spotted on its home turf at the famous Nürburgring. It's currently undergoing testing, and the best part is it's not hiding much under camouflage. In fact, most of the disguise seems quite pointless, especially when you look at that prominent wing, it's hard to miss. It seems to be derived from the rear arrow piece we saw on the 45th anniversary edition. Moving on to the front, those canards at the bumper's edges are equally hard to overlook, and so is the spoiler lip. But let's not stop there. Let's talk about the fun stuff. This prototype rides extremely low to the ground thanks to a stiffer suspension setup. And what's really exciting are the new, presumably lightweight wheels that it's rolling on. They come with beefier brakes featuring eye-catching red calipers. Now, it's worth noting that the production version might undergo some changes, especially in the bumper department. The biggest transformation, though, is expected under the hood. It's about time the Supra gets a new engine. The regular Supra versions are powered by the two. 0LB48 and 3, 0LB58 engines from BMW's performance division, but hold on to your seats. It's rumored that the Supra might finally receive an M engine. The six-cylinder Supra available today has 382 horsepower, but the BMW M engine can do so much more. Even the base M4 boasts 473 horsepower, followed by the M4 competition at 503 horsepower. And then there's the M4 CSL with a whopping 543 horsepower to match the M3 CS. The 3.0 CSL, limited to just 50 units, even squeezed out an extra 10 horsepower for a grand total of 553 horsepower. So your guess is as good as ours regarding how much power BMW will allow Toyota to pack into the Supra. But we'd bet on something around 500 horsepower without stepping on the M4's toes. As for the transmission, don't hold your breath for a clutch pedal since the M4 Competition and M4 CSL come exclusively with an automatic. However, the 3.0 CSL Special Edition did have a six-speed manual, but that meant BMW had to limit the torque. Regardless, the Supra, now competing with the Nissan Z Nismo, could become a limited-run Special Edition. Now, while we're on the topic of limited runs, this could potentially be the Supra's swan song. BMW insiders suggest the closely related Z4 will cease production in 2026 without a replacement planned. But before it bows out, the Bavarian Roadster might finally combine the inline six engine with a manual gearbox for a three pedal Z4 M40i, echoing the six speed, six cylinder Supra. And let's not forget about potential chassis modifications similar to what Toyota has developed for its Supra G4 customer race car. These could include track-tuned suspension with adjustable dampers, stiffer anti-roll bars, uprated brakes, and performance tires. In fact, the prototype we're looking at is sporting Michelin's Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. While Toyota hasn't officially mentioned plans for a more hardcore Supra, rumors suggest that it might come with a version of the twin turbocharged 3. Zero L inline six engine found in BMW's M3 and M4 competition models. In those models, the engine is rated at 473 horsepower when paired with rear wheel drive, and this might be the rating Toyota aims for in their range topping Supra. So whether you're a Supra enthusiast or just love a good powerful ride, there's plenty to be excited about in the world of sports cars. Stay tuned for more updates on the 2025 Toyota Supra as this ride is gearing up to be a showstopper. And that's a wrap for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with the latest automotive news, reviews, and all things fun on wheels, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you liked what you saw today and hit the notification bell so you never miss any updates from the Mr. Cottrell channel. Got any questions or suggestions for future videos? Drop them in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. Remember, we're in this journey together, and your feedback is what keeps the engine running. Until next time, stay passionate about cars, and I'll see you in the fast lane. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.